All right, our second inductee, like many people who have danced since they were a kid, uh, began uh, his love for dancing and got him into formal swing dances, dancing lessons in the mid-70s. His passion for dancing soon took him dancing seven nights a week. He entered his first contest in 1988 and had his first big win in Phoenix July 4th in 1989. He considers himself a Jack and Jill competitor. His only classic competition was with Debbie Ramsey in St. Louis, in which they simply just danced, even though it was a routine division. So he likes to say he was the original Strictly Swinger competitor. After competing at the champion level for several years, he faded out from the competition circuit, he faded himself out in 95 or 6. He also began teaching in the early 90s. I think every one of us here have had a lesson from him. He taught on the national circuit for many years, but he realized he wanted to keep his love of dancing as an outlet for fun and not a profession. He has continued to serve as a judge and will do anything anyone has ever asked of him for many, many years. Traveled throughout the nation, and again, we all know him and love him. He also served as a scrutineer here at the US Open for five years. And he was also recently inducted into the California Swing Dance Hall of Fame as a, as a Golden Star. And even though he says he's still just a beginner, we also know him as a Hall of Fame Swing Dance inductee. of meeting all the wonderful people in this dance world. This has been my beautiful extended family. I've got to meet Marie, and Marie was, after I met her, she started calling me dad. And when she said to me one day, she said, I want you to meet my dad. I said, I'd love to, Lorraine. So she brought me over to her dad. She looked at her dad and said, Dad, I want you to meet, and she looked at me, looked back at him and said, I want you to meet my other dad. Carlito, you remember what Jack used to call you? Jack Carey was the one of them that helped me a lot in the swing world in Eddie Hirsch. Wherever we went, he always introduced me as his oldest adopted son. <laughs> Mine too. Let's give it up. Thank you. 